Hello everybody, this is Joshua Hayes at BigWaveTrading.com coming to you with a weekend market wrap-up. I've already done this once and it looks like I'm going to have to do it again. So this one will be much quicker because I can't, I can't stand having to do this crap over and over again. Anyway, 500 down negative 2% for the day, down negative 4% for the week on higher volume. Lower volume today, but still not a single day of higher volume since December. If we go here to October 9th, I believe, whatever, blah, 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 to January 9th, down 2%. Bottom line, folks, stop wanting to go, stop thinking that you can go 100% long here, 100% short. This is a crappy, stupid, retarded market, and it is not going to change anytime soon. So get it out of your mind that you're going to be able to get a hundred percent return in 2009 or a 100% return on the short side in 2009 and just assume that this year is going to be a whole lot of nothing because I got a lot of people that seem to think that they can go heavily positioned stocks you guys need to start listening to me whenever I say cash is king I'm not joking around cash is king right now I'm only farting around in my shorts and farting around in my longs I'm not treating any of my recent longs or shorts as a serious serious position there is no 100, 200, 500 thousand dollars being thrown around in any long. Heck, a long is going to be lucky if it ever sees more than five thousand dollars of my money right now. Right now, this market is not a market to f with. You do not mess with markets that are like this. This market's retarded. It doesn't know. Excuse me, that's the wrong term to use. This market is stupid. Doesn't know where it wants to go. It's down two percent here. I can go then like three weeks forward, down four percent there. Now I can go another week forward, up down one percent there. I can go now a month more ahead, and there it goes down two percent. Oh, then I can go look at what it looked like last week. Oh, down one percent. Folks, the market is going nowhere. Stop putting a lot of your money on the line. You are going to pay for it. If we have a Great Depression, we, we yippee, we'll make money on the short side. If we have a bottom, if we rally, we have plenty of time. I think I've done the experiment to prove to you that when the indexers are above the 50 and 200 day moving average, it's safe to go long. And when they're not above the 250 day moving average like now, it is not safe to go long. I really, really, really wish some of the people that are sending me emails that are not subscribers would really pay attention to... The, the hints that I drop left and right and really, really start to learn how the market actually works instead of thinking that you can buy WorldCom all the way down or Enron all the way down because it's such a cheap bargain. Whatever you think is cheap and good now, you don't know what's behind the door. You don't know where the next Bear Stearns lies. You don't know where Lehman Brothers lies. You don't know where a psycho like Bernie Madoff lies. So I'm telling you right now, cash is king. If you're going to take any of my longs and shorts... You better keep them small. You better not go you better not go under 90, 80% cash. If anybody's using more than 20% of their account in this market right now, I think you are crazy. And I don't care if you have a gain. You are extremely lucky because you're playing against the odds right now. This is a psychotic market. There is no rhyme or reasons. Breakouts from beautiful patterns, which are rare enough as it is, don't work. Breakdowns don't work. Buying low, selling high doesn't work. Selling <coughs> Excuse me. Shorting high and then covering low doesn't work. Nothing works. ETFs don't correlate to the indexes. Nothing works. Unless your time frame is 15 minutes. If you've got a 15 minute time frame, play the 15 minute charts. Go for it. I don't play that. I use weekly charts, which is very ugly and tells me, no way you're going long the market anytime soon. And daily charts. That's it. This is my shortest time frame. 60, 10, 15, 5 minutes. I don't care. Throw them away to me. One minute. I'm not like that. I don't have that kind of temperament. I'm not going to sit and watch the market all day. I'd rather go get try to get barreled, try to get barreled and just go surf or go have fun or do something. Something. Even watch TV. Anything is better than trying to make money in a market where you can go broke in the next second. Ask all the investors of... Say why how they feel sat yam computers. What is that? I mean like You know, I mean how does that feel now to be in that stock? I mean that's got to feel pretty crappy I, I didn't even know a gap down there that one day to five dollars. Wow. Well, it's worth 20 cents now I bet so doesn't matter. You don't you never know what's out there folks So you got to take care of your own money and you got to learn when it's not time to go long It's not time to go long look at that Dow Jones industrial average going back below the 50-day moving average lower volume still But hell it's been lower volume the entire way nothing's changed You're number one you can't really load up on shorts unless you're selling off on high volume 
Look at the weekly. Look at early 2008. Then look at whenever we started to pick up in July, August, and September. We had clear distribution. We had distribution the whole way. Now look at this rally off the November, December, December lows, October, November, December. No volume. No volume. It's well below the average. There is no volume out there. Look at the 50-day average volume line. Look at it roll over. Look at it just roll over like a fat, lazy sloth. It just whoop, collapses because nobody is investing out there. The Nasdaq finally had its first good day on strong volume, and then what do we do right after that great day where we get some good longs? Our next three days are pure pain. Down, down near 5%. On higher volume, mind you, on this three-day. So you can look on the three-day here. It's a very beautiful pattern of high-volume red bars everywhere and very few green bars that last anything. So this market is not a friendly market, and the tone of my voice should probably stress to you how difficult this market really is because I'm already down for 2009 already. So we're, we're having a great pickup to 2008. But that's because I had one pretty long... I went long early, got some gains, gave me an excellent secondary buy point. That buy point should have been a launching pad to 20% gain in two to three weeks. Instead, it's up 7%, whoop, rolls right back over. Now I believe we have a loss of around 9 to 11%. And also in our other one that had max green bop, lose its green bop, still gives a buy signal. Now it doesn't have the green bop anymore. And then we have another one. As soon as we get it, falls right back down. What the heck is that? That doesn't happen in bull markets. This is why stocks aren't even seeing $5,000 of mine in anything, much less even a couple of thousand in some of these. So for anybody that's upset that stocks aren't working right now, that you're going long, you got to be upset for one reason. You've bought too much. For some odd reason, you're not listening to me whenever I say cash is king and you're buying way too much. These positions should be at a point to where whenever you lose, you're only down a 1% or 2% max. Even if you take a 10% loss on a stock, that should not affect your portfolio more than 1% to 2% at all. Right now for the year, I'm down almost 3% already. A great start in the first nine days. Th this is not like anything I've seen before. I have never seen anything like this. I've never seen a market that gives you long signals that have for the past 13 years, 12 years, been clear long signals fail. And I haven't seen a market that's fallen apart so fast to where you can't get short. So it's a very difficult market right now. And even though we have been blessed to have gotten short stocks back in June, July, and August, and some in September, I got to be honest with you, going short now is scary. I thought we just had a perfect short with one. Thank God I still kept it. It was bigger than my other shorts, but thank God it was still smaller than what I normally would if I wanted to load up on something. So nothing has painfully killed me. I'm only down 3%, even though I've had a few stocks make 10% moves against me immediately. And that just means that you're completely in the wrong market. Let's look at oil to show you that oil's at 40 Let's look at platinum, show where platinum's at, still making its move up off the lows. Looks like a bullish rounding out area to me. Silver still looking bullish, but very bullish as you got tails. You got tails all in December, tails all in January, and then gold is looking the same way to me. But thankfully for us, the most bullish of all of these charts is, oi, DXY0 is the United States dollar. The United States dollar had a very bullish 1.4% gain today, and off the December lows, it has been doing very well. And as you can see, if you would have gotten it after that big down move, you would have had a 5% gain in your dollar position. And since it's taken out the 50-day moving average back in July and held this time, and then really gotten above August, which we can use, the dollar is still up 11% during that time. So the dollar is definitely the leading commodity out there right now out of all of them that I watch. But this market is very tough. And for any of you that think going long more than 20% of your account or going short more than 20% of your account is smart right now, you honestly are crazy and really can't tell the difference between a real bull market and a bear market. Do you know last year there were only 22 stocks up 100%? Do you know in 2003 there were over 1,000 and there's still like around 900 remaining that exist? So let's think about this. 1,000 to 22. Folks, it's going to be a lot harder to make money this year. Get ready for it. Part 2 and 3 is coming up for my subscribers. And we're going to go even in more in-depth and go more into the charts. 
and we'll look at our current longs and shorts too to see what we should be doing. Aloha.